While we pursue personal freedom, peace, love, and harmony with people around us, we become very frustrated because we fail to understand the point of view of others and others do not understand our point of view. You know, we become very offended when we don't understand the motive behind people's words and actions. We all have been in a position where we argue with people simply because we don't understand their point of view. You know, we end up losing friends at the end. If you find yourself in this position and looking for ways to pursue personal freedom and to be unoffendable, this video is for you. I'm gonna borrow some points from the book I read Four Agreements by Dan Miguel Ruiz to help you really pursue your pathway to personal freedom. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Quaker Peps and on my channel, I share with you some guiding principles that can help you transform your life. These are some practical things that I've done myself and successful people have done to help them change their life positively. In this video, I'm going to share with you four practical ways to help you pursue personal freedom and to become unoffendable. First agreement, be impeccable with your work. We've heard over and over again and it's really become a cliche that words are powerful. Your word is powerful and it has the power to affect others and affect ourselves. So we have to be very careful the words that we speak. It is imperative that we speak with integrity all the time. We have to say what we mean and mean what we say because sometimes we find ourselves unintentionally saying words that do not satisfy us and in the end is gonna have the power to affect us. Use the power of words to offer love. We have to be impeccable with our words so that we can show love. Number two, don't take anything personally. You know, oftentimes we find ourselves really hurt by things people say and people get hurt by our words because, you know, they don't really know the motive behind. We have to understand that we have our own perspective and other people have their own perspective. What people do or say is not because of us, it's really because of their own perception of life and their own perspective, right? So it is imperative that we do not get offended by what people say, why they do what they do, and say what they say. We all make rules about how things should be. So when I go about things the way I wanna go about it, it's because of what I believe in. And if another person is really going about life the way they wanna go about it, it's because of what they believe in. So we should not be offended because we all have our perspectives in life. When we get immune to people's actions, we are not victim of suffering. Get immune to how people live their life. Consciously understand that it is not because of you. People live based on their own belief system and their own perspective of life. Number three, don't make assumptions. Making assumptions is so easy to do. You know, when people speak or do things, we just assume or find ourselves prejudging and really predicting things to happen, especially in our personal relationships. And it makes us so frustrated. It is very imperative that we find courage to ask questions and express what we really want. We don't have to make assumptions. Be straightforward, ask questions when we need to rather than make assumptions about things. Communication is really important. For you to understand a person, it takes two-way communication to really understand the person so that they can also understand you. Communicate with people as clearly as possible to avoid any misunderstanding or drama. Assumption is really going to create some kind of unexisting notion about a person or a situation. There is so much energy involved in assuming something about a situation or a person. So it is always better to ask questions rather than be in your head and assume things. You rather free your mind if you have the courage to ask questions and to really understand a situation. Always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. When you are at your full capacity, you have to give your best. You know, it's really relative because there are times you are not well or you are under the weather at every moment when you're sick or when you are at your full capacity. Either way, you have to give your best. We always say proper preparation prevent poor performance. If you prepare well and efficiently and effectively, you are going to get great results. But if you prepare haphazardly, you're going to get the results accordingly. It is always important to do your best in any and every situation that you find yourself in. If you master these four agreements, you will completely accept yourself and accept people for who they are. It's really going to help you 
change your paradigm and perspective on the way you approach things and your relationship with people. In the end, you're gonna be happy. Thank you again for coming onto my channel. If you're enjoying the content, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, you know, continue to share with others and you know, show love and motivate me. I'm here for that. Appreciate you.